guys, welcome back. It's Pierre, Simple Home Brew. <laughs> uh, another tasting, get another tasting from Goodland Brewing Co. Uh, it's called Good Lager. It's, it's one I've tasted already. Uh, when I first got the gear, I thought, I want to try this one. And I tried it, and I wasn't keen on it. It had a bit of a, a yeasty taste to it. It was very home brewy. Um, and it's been, what, two, two and a half weeks now since I've um, bought them. So today, I'm gonna to taste it and see how it comes out now. So I'd like to read out the write-up on it. Um, these guys obviously did their own writing on it. And uh, I'd like to let you know what they wrote about it. Uh, this is a good lager, good name, good lager. Yeah, it's unique, it's e easy to sort of grasp and get the idea off. Uh, brewed for everyday moments, a new world German style pilsner with delicate aromas from Australian Enigma hops and fermented in a cool temperature, leaving it with a bright taste and crisp finish. Um, it's refreshingly smooth and brewed with pride in Gippsland. Ah, now I get it. I thought it was hops, but it's actually brewed with pride in Gippsland. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Uh, they also say drink cold, drink fresh, drink good land lager. Cool. Okay, we shall crack the can open. Ooh, that was tight. Now they can it in their own factory. They have their own factory in Standing Drive in Trelogan. If you want to check them out in Google, I'll put a link down below and give you their address. As, as you are aware, they're new. This is why I'm doing it, and they're my locals. So they really don't know me. I have sent them a video already, or a video link, just to give them an idea. Oh, sorry, guys. What I'm doing, hopefully they enjoy some of the things I do. That's it. That's our little bright lager. I won't put it too close because uh, I'm using a GoPro for recording. Looks bright. Oh, we've got a bit of a storm coming. Nicely carbonated. Doesn't really look like a lager as such. I mean, for, to me, lagers are a little bit darker. Um, and it seems very thin as a brick beer. But, yep, there's that smell. Um, I can smell the hops in it. Very thin layer of hops. And the yeast, I've got a little bit, a little bit of the yeast there, which is fine. The last one was a much bigger hit, I'd say it was more fresh then. It's aged a little bit in the can. So we'll give it a try. Oh. Sorry. No, it smells really good, it smells really clean. Okay, it's um, not rich in any kind of flavors, it's just a nice beer. Um, dry than I thought would happen. Lagers are not normally so dry. It, like I said, it's 4.7% alcohol. Um, I've made beers like this myself and they've tasted just as good. It's awesome. It's really nice. A little bit of bitterness. Um, great carbonation. It's probably a bit too carbonated from, for a lager. But then again, I'm not a connoisseur in any way for my tastes. This is all for my tastes. Right, I'm getting a little bit of a fruity mango. Not much, just a little bit. It's not overwhelming. It's an easy drinking beer. Um, with my experiences with lager, I, it doesn't taste like a lager, I must say. I've seen some people write up some comments on it saying it's their favorite lager ever. If they're not lager drinkers, they would love this. Absolutely love it. Um, I like both, lager and uh, IPAs and Pilsners and all that stuff. It's more like a Pilsner, to tell you the truth. My opinion. This is my opinion, guys. Nobody else's. This is what I feel about it. Um, I'm probably completely wrong, but it's my perception. Yeah. Um, I must say that it is a very nice beer. That is one I will definitely buy again. I did buy... I have got two cans, so I will polish this one off as well. I've got a video coming out this Friday. So it's uh, called... Uh, pressure transferring, I'm uh, pressure transferring my cerveza, so I do a little bit of a tasting at the end of that, but it's not a proper tasting. I'll be doing that the following week. I'll give it a week to age a bit. It's in my keg, in my kegerator at the moment. We've been on lockdown for two weeks, which is a pain, as some of you who live here know. Uh, look, I, I work in retail, and I work in a retail industry where people still want product, so I'm not out of work. I'm actually still working every day, and. Uh, Basically, serving people in their cars, which is quite difficult. Now, I work in an automotive store, and if you guys don't know, that's that's my job. I've been doing that job for 16 years, so I have an idea on 
or the automotive side of things. And uh, it's an enjoyable place to be to help people who need help. It's really good, it's really good. Now, I will tell you what store I work in, if you want to know. I've actually had people come from the city and recognize me through my YouTube channel, so they know who I am and where I work, so yeah, it's cool. Uh, cheers. This one, one to go for. A really nice beer, Goodland Brewing Co. Uh, it's called Good Lager. Now, my opinion is it doesn't taste like a lager, but it's still a great beer anyway. Made here in Gippsland, in my town, which is absolutely awesome. It's the first one I've seen. Uh, this is the last of Goodland Brewings that I'm going to do. I'm moving on to Bright. Bright has a, it's a Bright brewery. They're pretty cool. Uh, and after that, I've been gifted some beer as well to taste on here. And I'll be sharing that with you very soon. So again, thank you guys for watching this. And uh, please, check these guys out. Get on their website, have a look, say hello, tell them Pierre sent you. They might know who I am by now. So, um, yeah, say hi. Cheers, guys. See you later. Have a good one.